If you're a 200 pound guy and you want to get down to 180 pounds quickly, I want to go over a diet and exercise program in this video so you can lose 20 pounds in less than six weeks. Let's first cover the diet and then we'll go over the workout program. See, I want you to focus on three things when it comes to losing weight. Number one, food quality. Number two, calories. And number three, food timing. So let's go over what I mean by food quality. I want you to switch over to a whole natural food diet, relatively low in carbohydrates with an adequate amount of protein. And let me break this down even further. Okay, this is what I mean by eating a whole natural food diet, no processed foods. When it comes to your proteins, I don't want you eating cold cuts and like low quality forms of protein. I want you good quality animal protein like fish, like salmon, sardines, like shellfish, like shrimp and clams. I want you like grass fed, grass finished beef, like steaks and hamburger. I want you chicken, poultry, bison. These are your quality proteins, your unprocessed proteins. No going to McDonald's and getting chicken fingers and you know, like chicken nuggets and things like that. Good quality protein. You can have whole pasture raised eggs. You can even have like a Greek yogurt, like dairy. Like I like fermented food. They're great for your gut. They feed the good bacteria in your, in your gut. And that's what I mean by good whole natural foods when it comes to protein. When it comes to carbohydrates, no processed foods. You don't eliminate most of your empty calories by eating a relatively low carbohydrate diet by eliminating these processed carbohydrates. So obviously no cookies, no cakes, no donuts, even bread and pasta and rice you want to try to avoid as much as possible because they're lacking in nutrition. They're empty calories. They're going to spike blood sugar. Not good for you. The type of carbohydrates you do want to eat on this diet are mostly vegetables, right? High fiber, nutrient dense type vegetables and low sugar fruits like avocados, tomatoes, cucumbers, even some berries like blueberry, berries, strawberries. You can even occasionally have like a sweet potato, good quality sources of carbohydrates. Now, when it comes to fat, you want the fat to come from the whole natural food you're eating. Like for example, an egg, high in good quality fat, right? An avocado, high in healthy monounsaturated fat, salmon, sardines, high in omega-3s. Even like grass-fed, grass-finished red meat has a good fat profile. And don't be concerned about saturated fat if you're getting it from whole natural foods. You also want to cook with extra virgin olive oil right? You can put it on a salad as well. You can saute your vegetables in extra virgin olive oil. You may want to have a little bit of butter too, grass fed, grass finished type butter. You can have a little bit of avocado oil, a little bit of uh, like coconut oil. But what you really want to avoid are the seed oils, like the corn oils, the canola oils. Those are the bad oils for you. Too much omega-6s in your diet is inflammatory, not, not good for you. You want to change your fat profile to higher in omega-3s, lower in omega-6s, and that'll happen automatically if you're eating the whole natural diet that I'm talking about. So that's just general diet. Those are the type of foods I want you to eat. And another thing I'm going to want you to do is I would love you to, to use one of these apps like MyFitnessPal or Chronometer and start tracking the food you're eating. Enter these foods into this app and it's gonna be eye-opening. I always say at one point in your life, for a few weeks, you have to track calories and you have to track macros, protein, fats, and carbs, and you have to just see where you are and see how much food you're eating and see the quality of the food you're eating. So try one of these apps, they're gonna be really helpful. Okay, now the second thing we're gonna focus on is calories. Like I'm a big believer in cycling your calories, like some days eating more and other days eating less. What that does, it's great for long-term weight loss and it minimizes the slowdown in your metabolism when you're cycling your calories. So I say if you're 200 pounds and you want to get down to 180 pretty quickly, I think you should be in a calorie deficit, let's say four days a week. And my general rule is 10 times your body weight. So if you're 200 pounds, if you ate 2,000 calories of whole natural foods four days per week, 
I think that's a great calorie deficit to be in. And then three days a week, you're gonna eat maintenance calories, which is about five to 700 calories over your calorie deficit. So let's say you'll eat 2,700 calories three days a week. And you'll see later in this program, we're gonna prescribe when you should be eating more and when you should be eating less, depending upon the workout that you're doing for the day. Now, it's also important to eat an adequate amount of protein. See, proteins are the building blocks of the body. They also have the highest thermic effect, meaning that when you eat 100 calories of protein, you're gonna burn up, say, 20 to 30% of those calories just digesting and processing the protein. So it somewhat increases your metabolism. So I like to say a minimum of 0.9 grams per pound of lean body weight. But let's make it real simple. You're a 200 pound guy, you wanna get down to 180, eat 150 grams of protein per day. A general rule is every four ounces of chicken, fish, and meat is about 25 grams of protein. So if you have, say, a 16 ounce like piece of salmon for dinner, you're gonna get a, you're gonna get 100 grams of protein there. But if you're using My Fitness Pal, one of those apps, a chronometer, you're gonna put your foods in, it's just gonna be right there, which is incredible. Now, I also said that besides eating a whole natural food diet, I also think you, you're gonna do better if you eat a relatively low carbohydrate diet. So I'd like to keep you on the days when you're eating maintenance calories, three days a week, at about 100 to 150 net grams of carbohydrates. And how you figure out net grams is that you take the total carbohydrates in a food and you minus the fiber. So for example, let's say there's 25 grams of carbohydrates in an avocado, but there's 20 grams of fiber. So the net carbs are only five grams. So if you eat anywhere between 100 to 150 net grams of carbohydrates, you're still gonna have energy to function and move around. You're gonna be eliminating all those garbage processed foods if you just follow that rule. Like no cupcakes, no cakes, no cookies, no pretzels, no potato chips, no french fries. Those are the things that are super high in carbohydrates, plus they're mixed with those unhealthy seed oils, like the corn oils and the vegetable oils, and they're low in fiber. So if you stick to that, say, maintenance day of 100 to 150 net grams of carbohydrates, you're automatically gonna be eliminating all those unhealthy fattening type foods. But then four days a week, when you're in a calorie deficit, I'd like you to cut back on carbohydrates even more. Then maybe stay between 50 to 75 net grams of carbohydrates, generally. And this is all gonna make sense to you. I'm gonna pull this whole program together with you in more detail when we get to the uh, workout program. Now, the third thing I want you to focus on when it comes to your diet is food timing. See, there are certain times during the day when you have to be in an empty stomach, you have to be in a fasted state. It could be just as simple as sleeping for eight hours and not waking up and snacking, and then maybe delaying breakfast a little bit in the morning, and maybe eating dinner a little sooner, maybe fasting 14 hours. But for this program, I want you to be a little bit more aggressive because we do want to lose that 20 pounds quickly. And I want you to fast for 16 hours every single day and then take in all your calories within an eight hour eating window. And this is exactly how I want you to do it. On the days when you're eating maintenance calories, and those are also gonna be the days when you're doing some resistance training, I want you to eat three meals and maybe one snack. If you can avoid a snack, that would be great. And that'll be your maintenance calories. Those are the days when you're eating more, you're eating within an eight hour eating window, you're taking in three meals, and you're just taking in more calories, but you're still getting that adequate amount of protein. But then four days out of the week, when you're in a calorie deficit, and those are the days when you're gonna be doing your cardio type training to make your heart strong and to burn some body fat, I only want you to eat two meals a day. Some people call that too mad. So you're gonna be doing a type of intermittent fasting, which is really called time-restricted eating, when you're doing 16, eight every day. That means you're fasting 16 hours, taking all your cal calories with eight hour eating window. Three days, three days out of the week, you're gonna have three meals. Maintenance calories, 2,700. Four days out of the week, you're only having two meals, about 2,000 calories a day. It's an incredible way to cycle your calories. Plus, on the days you're only eating two meals, you're just automatically gonna eat less. It'll be a lot easier for you to be in a calorie deficit. Now, let's go over the exercise program I want you to follow 
over the next six weeks. See, I think every guy should have like dumbbells in their house, a flat bench, and also a set of these resistance bands. You can do everything with these resistance bands. So invest a little bit of money, buy some dumbbells. I also like those bowl flex, like dial up dumbbells, flat bench, resistance bands. Now, three days a week, I want you to do resistance training, a real simple routine. I just want you to do one set relatively hard, maybe 80, 90% effort. I want you to keep the repetitions relatively on the high side, maybe between 12 to 15 repetitions, but I want you to move the weight slowly. Use a relatively slow rep cadence. I want you to lower the weight, like eccentrically load for three seconds, and I want you to concentrically load for two seconds. So for example, say you're doing a push up, lower yourself three seconds slowly to the ground, and you're gonna push up for two seconds. And I want you to follow those rules for every exercise that we're doing. And I want you to do simple, basic movements. First, you're gonna warm up, maybe do like 25 jumping jacks, just to increase your body temperature. Then I want you to do one set of squats, one set of lunges, one set, set of RDLs, Romanian deadlifts, then one set of calf raises. That's the only thing I want you to do for lower body. It's gonna take you seven minutes, six, seven minutes to go through those few exercises. Now, if you wanna learn these exercises, I have a lot of them on my channel, but look on YouTube, look them up. They're real simple, basic exercises. Then I want you to move the upper body. I want you to do like one set of dumbbell bench presses for chest. Then I want you to do one set of push-ups, as many as you can, 80, 90% effort. Then I want you to grab these bands. I want you to do one set of seated rows, right? Then I want you to do one set of an exercise called a dumbbell pullover when you lie across the bench. Look that exercise up. I love that movement. Great movement for the back. Then I want you to do one set of dumbbell shoulder presses for the shoulders, one set of bicep curls, and then one set of tricep lying tricep extensions. And then I want you to cool down with mobility movement. And I got a great video on mobility movement. Definitely check it out. This simple routine should take you less than 30 minutes. It's so important that when you're losing weight to maintain muscle mass, it's gonna keep your metabolism up. Plus you wanna look muscular, you wanna be fit, you wanna be healthy. So important to the resistance training. Now you're gonna do that routine three days a week. And that's also the day when you're gonna be eating maintenance calories, right, 2,700 calories for the day, and you're gonna be eating three meals, but you're still gonna be fasting for 16 hours. Okay, so if you do this workout in the morning, you might be doing it fasted if you're skipping breakfast. If you're skipping dinner and working out in the morning, you may not be, it doesn't make a difference. Three days a week of resistance training. Now the other four days a week, I want you to focus on cardio training. I also want you to be, once again, in that calorie deficit, only eating 2,000 calories a day and only eating two meals a day, just to make sure you're in a calorie deficit. But keep, keep in mind, you still wanna take in an adequate amount of protein, as close to 150 grams of protein as you possibly can. On the two mat day, if you can't quite reach 150 grams of protein, it's okay, but come as close to it as possible. Now, one cardio workout I want you to do, which is twice a week, is a HIT, a more high intensity type cardio workout. It's only 20 minutes long. For example, if you're doing it outside, you may want to go into a slow jog for five minutes, then you may want to like sprint for one minute, like slow jog for a minute. Do five intervals, do five high intensity intervals with one minute rest in between, which should take you 10 minutes and then cool down for five minutes for an easy jog. That's if you're doing it outside. If you're lucky enough to have an exercise bike at home or a treadmill at home, you can do it at home. You get on the bike, you pedal easy for five minutes, you do one minute hard, one minute easy for five times, cool down for five minutes. Only takes you 20 minutes. It's gonna increase your cardiovascular strength. It's gonna increase your VO2 max which is your maximum oxygen consumption. It's gonna make your heart incredibly strong, plus it can help you burn a little calories as well. Then you're gonna get, you're gonna stop with that interval routine, and then I want you to do your core training on your cardio day, on your hit day. I want you to spend five to seven minutes doing some like abdominal work. I love front planks, side planks, rolling planks. I'm gonna link up a video I did on them. 
do a little bit of core work on your cardio day. That whole day should take you no more than 30 minutes, right there. Then the other two cardio days, I want you to do long, easy aerobics. And if you can do it in a fasted state, I would love it. Like for example, you wake up first thing in the morning, you take a 60 minute walk outside in a fasted state. Great way to burn body fat. Great way to build your aerobic base. It's gonna help you reach your goal of losing 20 pounds in less than six weeks. And once again, that's also gonna be a day when you're in a calorie deficit, only eating 2000 calories a day, fasting 16 hours, only eating two meals, two mat. Okay, so this is your plan for six weeks and it's really gonna work. But let's quickly review the whole thing. Number one, you're gonna focus on food quality. A whole natural food diet, low in carbohydrates, right? You're gonna focus on calories. You're gonna start tracking your calories and your protein, fats, and carbs in your food with an app. On the days you're doing your resistance training, you're gonna be at maintenance calories, about 2,700 calories. You're gonna eat no more than 150 net grams of carbohydrates. You're gonna eat 150 grams of protein three days a week. Then you're gonna be in a calorie deficit four days a week, eating 2,000 calories a day, only two meals, fasting for 16 hours. Those are the days when you do your high intensity cardio. Those are the days when you do your long, easy walks. And I'm telling you, after six weeks, you're gonna be 20 pounds lighter, you're gonna be thrilled. And then it's probably time to take a diet break. If you wanna know what I mean about a diet break, check out this video I did on taking a diet break. Great way to permanently keep the weight off and to never hit a weight loss plateau.